Hang on to those old bed frames. They're much more useful than you may think. This is Desert Homestead Prepping. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. It's a little bit of a snow flurry today. And see how much I can get done here. Um, some of the issues I'm running into is that my table saw is back out at the property and you know I, I run into these issues where I have some tools here and some tools there it's almost like I need to duplicate everything that I have and have a, a full set in both places but I'm just gonna try to improvise I still got my you know my circular saw um, so I'm gonna see if I can figure out how I can cut piece of wood lengthwise just that way um, and I got a, a couple ideas on how I'll do that so I'm gonna get going on that this this main floor stud right here I need to cut a piece for that it's about 66 inches I'm gonna go a little bit thicker I was gonna go a full 2 by 4 but I decided that that's just gonna be too difficult to uh, maneuver so I'm just going to go with uh, pretty close to similar measurements. That one's that one's about one and a half inches. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to about maybe two two and a quarter. So we'll see how it does. hundreds of these little staples everywhere so I'm just gonna have to pull out each and every one they're gonna they're definitely gonna be in the way so I'm gonna get going at that I got this piece in here it seems to be pretty secure um, see where each of these studs go I'm gonna add another one on the side of this now the next part is to get this secured so you can see where this is broke right here um, there's another one right here which is you know what this end of the 2x4 is resting on holding it in place and the, the same thing over here on this side so I need to do the same thing here I need to push this up so I'm not gonna be able to salvage this but I got a plan here and I saved these old bed frames just for the fact that they have they they are perfect pieces of angle iron like to actually go buy angle iron and stuff it can it can get pretty expensive for lengths and stuff but this is this is pretty strong stuff so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut some pieces that are going to slide right in there and I'm going to attach it to the other pieces back farther where it isn't compromised and I think that's going to support it for us so I'll use a car jack to lift it up and, and hold it all in place
My face shield's important. I just got done welding on those little pieces of angle iron and it seems a lot better. I mean, I'm not the best welder, but here is the unfortunate gob job <laughs> I did. But either way, it's holding and pretty difficult to weld upside down. But, that's it. Seems like it's holding pretty good. Yeah. I feel a lot better about this. Alright, I'm back at it again today. Um, I decided to get a little more detailed with the reconstruction of this wall. I decided since there's always so much pressure on this wall you know you got the handle here and people are using the handle to pull themselves up and you know it just after a little while I started thinking about how important this one stud is this side is is really secure um, probably partly because of the framework of this closet area but yeah this one it was in okay condition up here toward the top, but it's just so rotted down here and everything that I figured I might as well just replace the whole thing. Um, it's pretty darn cold out here right now. Ice from the, the last snowstorm that we had. So I'm gonna go ahead, since I have to replace this header, up the header up here, might as well just do this with a 2x4 and another length of 2x4 up there and anchor it down real good and then we can start putting it all back together. annoying thing is I got the warped Home Depot wood I swear you can pick through all the wood and the lumber that they have at Home Depot or Lowe's and you're gonna rarely find a straight piece so annoying but this is what I got so with the warped Two by four. I'm I'm just gonna have to split the curve, so it'll be off a little bit up top and off a little bit at the bottom. But it's just it's gonna be so much better than it was before. All right. So there's that piece, and now I got my my new header. brackets you just hook this thing in all kinds of places it's gonna be so much better all right this is where I'm at for now um, I think I'm gonna give it some time, let the silicone seal up, and then I'll come back probably tomorrow 
or my next day off and put in some more brackets some more reinforcement but this is this is what we got so far so we got everything all hooked back in except for the you know the threshold of the door right here all these brackets in place everything's so much more sturdy you know just sit here and shake this whole trailer and this whole whole thing is just holding nice and secure um had to do some repair on this stupid door because the all this was coming apart and so this piece was flapping out and this one was hanging out so i had to silicone it and bend all this back and so i got this clamp holding it in place so i'll probably just tie the door just to hold it so the wind doesn't blow it around throughout the night while all this silicone dries inside this door yeah that's uh where we're at show you the inside so i got the two by four down here mounted on both sides and then you come up top and, and you can't hardly see it because it's inside the door jam but i got an an angle bracket inside here holding this one in place and then it's got a bracket here it's such a pain trying to replace these studs because i i can't attach them from the inside so we're moving along pretty slow i mean it's middle of winter hard to get motivated moving forward and that's that's really the point of working on this in the driveway here at home is because i i got some time here and there to work on this and so i might as well have it here and that way when i am out at the property we can focus on tasks that can only be done while we're out there so we'll uh keep on moving ahead on this and uh we'll see how far we can get as the days go by all right next time you guys come back we'll uh we'll continue on with this and we'll uh we'll address this closet area in here as well so yeah be sure to join us next time and we'll just continue on little bit by little bit on this project thanks guys